Hello, I would like to talk about a new feature in the Alma December 2013 release. We have improvements to the electronic portfolio import and export. Now, as you know, when looking at a certain electronic collection, looking at its services, for each service we can export the list of its portfolios, of the electronic portfolios, and we get an Excel sheet with all the data of the portfolio. And this sheet can be edited, and new portfolios can be added, and existing ones can be changed. And this file can then be uploaded back into Alma. So you can export and import electronic portfolios. And there are now new improvements to this Excel file, and more information is available, so you have more power to edit these files. So let's run an example of an export and then an import. Um, Let's begin by searching for an electronic collection. And we have here the collections, and we wish to get into the list of portfolios for a service. So sometimes you can navigate directly uh, by this link over here, Edit Service. This link only appears if there is one service associated with this electronic collection. If there's more than one service, then for example here, then you can still navigate to the services by clicking Edit, Additional Information, and here is the list of services, and you select which service you want to edit, and here you have a link to the portfolios. In this case, no records were found. But let's look at the shortcut case where we have the link to edit service, for example this. And here we are editing the service of the electronic collection. And under portfolios, we get a list of all the portfolios. There are 305 of them. And here you'll notice we have two buttons, export portfolios list and load portfolios. One is for exporting the file of the portfolios, and one is for loading them. So let's export a file, we'll make a change to it, and then we'll import it and see that our change was indeed done. And it's very simple, I click on export portfolios list, and we'll open it with Microsoft Excel. And here's the resulting output file with all the information of the portfolios. We have ISSN. We have the portfolio PID, which is an ID that Alma creates for each portfolio. Uh, the title of the publication, the activation dates. And here we have some new information. We have here the URL, which is the URL of the content of the target. For example, Psychiatry Online, or we have parser parameters in case that the target is not found by a direct URL but passed on to the parser and the identification is passed as an additional parameter, uh, jkey equals, here it's an actual URL but it can also be an ID, jkey equals vet, and the vendor knows how to identify the target using this ID. So we can enter either URL or parser parameters. And we also have some data here relating to proxy server. In case the access is done via proxy. So you have here proxy enabled, either false or true. In this one it's true. And if it's true, then proxy selected is the type of proxy, the ID of the proxy in Alma. This is here the ID is default. This is already defined uh, in Alma as the default proxy that's used to access this portfolio. And proxy level can be either portfolio or service. Oftentimes each uh, portfolio doesn't have its own proxy server, but there's one proxy for the entire service. And then the proxy level is service. Uh, in this example, we have one where the proxy is defined on the portfolio level. And we have here ownership. This is the ID of the library that activates this portfolio, the library in your institution. And another interesting one is group name. Uh, this is for network zones, 
which have several institutions or from multi-campus institutions where you have what's called an available for group where the content is not available uh, for example to all the institutions in the network but just for a certain group a subset um, for example in uh, my institution I might have a group of the uh, eastern and western campus and they have an ID and I would write that in this column uh, separated by semicolons west east whatever the name of the group is um, now in this example this is not a multi-campus institution so we'll leave this empty as is but here I can also add a note so let's add a note this is the note from our demo and if the upload works successfully then we shall see this note in the updated records okay so let's save this file on my desktop portfolio update and back in Alma let's now see what happens when we load portfolios and we want it to be incremental we want to add upon existing update the existing portfolios so we select update and our file portfolio update.xls and next okay great so let's activate and now let's take a look at the publication which we updated um, if you will see over here we added a note to the very first one this is the note from our demo and this was the Cleveland Clinic Journal of Medicine and back in Alma Cleveland Clinic Journal of Medicine actions edit and under notes let's refresh and here we are the note has just arrived this is the note from our demo and we can also see for example linking information this is where we see the parser parameters which we've discussed or the URL and whether proxy is enabled and which proxy it is so this would be a proxy defined on the portfolio level because we're in the electronic portfolio editor uh, if for example we were in the electronic service editor and under linking information we were to define proxy enabled here that's what we call proxy enabled on the service level so we just saw the export and import of electronic portfolios thank you very much for joining us